hurt? Where's the big guy? Harry's okay. These guys are just gang members. He's not hurt. They, uh, this edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by HomelandStupidity.us. I'm standing here with Wes from Manchester, who's a free stater who moved to New Hampshire about a year ago. Yep. Uh, and I wanted to bounce an idea off of you. Uh, this guy in town here in Manchester, he is starting a political party that's just going to have parties. How do you think about it? I think that's a great idea. It's a, it's a lot better use of resources than what they do with the real political parties around here. Now it's possible it could develop into a real party at some point. But at first they figure out, they have the power to have parties even if they can't get on the ballot or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I think that sounds better than politics as usual. <laughs> right. Parties are better than tyranny. Well, I guess they're going to start out doing, and by the time this video airs, this may be dated information, but they're, just, they're going to have meetings at, or, you know, parties or whatever. Like, informal get-togethers at Murphy's Tap Room around 5 p.m. each Tuesday before, before the Tap Room Tuesday event. Do uh, you think you might show up early for something like this? Sure, that doesn't sound like a big bite out of my schedule. One idea they have was that maybe you know, if, if the tap room is okay with it, they might have some sort of um, uh, like a miniature pop, or like a, was it, a miniature soapbox idol type event where you uh, can get okay. up and rant. You know, they have like a space set aside for open mic and you just rant about whatever you want. Interesting. Or you perform or whatever. You think you might give a performance? Maybe. <laughs> okay. If you, if you could have like one message that you would want to deliver to the public or to 10 people standing around, what would it be? <sighs> I don't know. There is a list here of uh, the Win Win Party has a platform uh, and a series of planks. And I was wondering if you want to take a look at it and, and see if you like it or dislike it. Sure. This one through nine down there. Self-correction and self-discipline involves resolving unhappiness by correcting misconceptions. Self-discipline involves practicing voluntary, efficient, healthy routines, including self-correction. Sure, that, who could argue with that? Why is he under arrest for no ID? Who did he hurt? Jay, I'm not going to who did he hurt? Don't worry, everything's okay. These guys are just gang members. Just laws and just enforcement. Just, just in laws are those which best protect everyone's natural rights. Voters should be able to choose anyone as a representative on any issue. Law enforcement should be hired by local representatives collectively. Maybe I'm on board with that. Uh, depends the wording seems a little obscure for me to give a definite yes or no on that local rule priority proper local rule should outrank wider area rule locally that means people outrank other authority on their own property local authority outranks state authority in the local community and state authority outranks federal authority in each state I'm totally for that um, in fact one of the most exciting things I think could happen in New Hampshire is a secessionist movement so the more local, the better. Might get too exciting. Yeah. Win-win um, political legislating. Representatives should use win-win to find solutions that satisfy all major groups' main concerns instead of mere majority rule. Absolutely agree with that. Non-compulsory taxation. Voluntary contribution. Hey, hey, don't be kicking them, guys. Law enforcement and public services must only be paid with voluntary contributions. Group revenues, not forced taxation. Absolutely 100% behind that. Uh, in fact, that might be something I get up and talk about at one of these soapbox idols. Non-compulsory education, healthcare, and labor. Education, healthcare, and cooperation must all be voluntary, not compulsory. Absolutely agree with that. Community and individual ownership. Natural resources should be owned by communities. Improvements should be owned by individuals. Unimproved land is a natural resource which should be rented to users in exchange for community revenue. Depending on how you define community, I basically agree with that. Patent and copyright ownership. Patents and copyrights should only be owned for 10 years without renewals. Life should not be, life should not be patentable. I agree that life should not be patentable, um, but I, I'm totally against intellectual property of all kinds. So. But this sounds like a pretty exciting party. Oh, good. Well, hope to see you uh, 
on tap room at, uh, at five o'clock on tap at tap room or wherever we, it ends up being. All right. All right. Thanks, thanks Dave. Have you ever wished you could just grab the president's attention for a few seconds and tell him what's wrong with Washington? Well, there is one free stater who's apparently already done it. Michael Hampton over at HomelandStupidity.us. Hampton reports that a summary of at least one of his articles ended up in the President's Daily News Briefing. So, why do powerful Americans pay attention to HomelandStupidity.us? Well, it's because Michael Hampton is a great whistleblower. Drop by HomelandStupidity.us and see for yourself what the fuss is all about. HomelandStupidity.us